Since Awingu 5.0, context awareness has been added to the product. Uh, what does that mean? It means that um, you can uh, make specific features, applications, drives, login, admin privileges, depending not only on users and security groups, but also on the context that those users or groups are uh, being connecting from. So uh, to give you like a, a very simple uh, example to start with, uh, if I go to, uh, for example, the user connector in Awingu, you will see that uh, we have, for example, already said that uh, you can only connect to Awingu after you have after doing multi-factor authentication. So multi-factor authentication is, for example, one of the contexts we can add. And in this case, we have added it to the login uh, scheme. So that means that whenever you log into the system, you have to do multi-factor authentication. But we could also, for example, have done that on a lower level. We could, for example, have said you can log in with username, password, um, without MFA, but on the moment you start a specific application, you need to have uh, multi-factor authentication uh, done. In this case, um, I'm going not to play with uh, multi-factor authentication as a context uh, object, but I'm going to do this based on country uh, listing or based on uh, connection connections from specific uh, countries. So I'm myself uh, currently uh, located in uh, in Belgium. So. If I would like to connect to this uh, Awingu appliance, I could, for example, say that uh, I'm only allowed to connect from in Belgium. So in that case, I can just say uh, I would like to add a context label, which is called country BE. And uh, as soon as I've done this, uh, you will see that for me, it's still possible to uh, to log into the system. But if I would try to do the same thing from an, uh, from an other region, that would not be uh, possible anymore. I'm going to demonstrate that in, an, uh, in another way. So um, those context labels uh, can not only be done on the uh, on the login schemes, but we can also do that, for example, on an individual uh, application. So if I go to manage applications, uh, I have, for example, my uh, Microsoft Paint. Uh, I'm connected from in Belgium for the moment. So if I click on Microsoft Paint, this will work. There is no problem. I can start the, uh, the application. There is not yet any uh, context restriction on it. If, for example, I would now specify that Microsoft Paint can only be run, uh, for example, from in uh, the Netherlands or France, I could, for example, say uh, I would like to add a context-specific um, uh, uh, label to this uh, application. And I could, for example, say it's only going to work from Netherlands and uh, France. So as of now, uh, this application can only be started in a context where a user needs to be connected from in the Netherlands and France or France. Uh, as I'm connected from in Belgium, you will see that on the moment I click on that uh, Microsoft Paint application, it is no longer, uh, I'm no longer able to uh, to start it. It's going to, to say that I'm not in the, in the correct uh, context. Um, this is not something we can only do on the, uh, on the applications, but we can also do this on the drives. So if I go to manage drives over there, I also have the possibility to specify in which context I can access this, uh, this drive. So for example, what I could do is, I could, for example, specify that I'm, I'm only able to connect to this drive if I'm, for example, in the, uh, in the office. Yeah. So I could, for example, say this drive is only available in the, uh, in the office. So I could say network uh, uh, 10.000 slash 8, uh, create. And that would mean that um, I'm going only be able to, to go to that network drive if I'm in the office. I'm, I'm not in the office today, so if I go to files, uh, you see, I'm no longer able to go to my uh, home drive because uh, I'm not in the in the correct uh, context uh, restrictions. So, as a source, we can have the multi-factor notification. We can have a list or a specific country, or we can have specific uh, networks. Um, we can apply that either to uh, the login, to the admin, to applications, to drives, and also to the features. So, for those of you who have seen the the feature uh, video already. Um, in that video, I have restricted um, specific features to, uh, for example, uh, specific users or specific groups. But I could also, for example, specify that I'm uh, only uh, allowed to, uh, to upload, for example, whenever I'm in Belgium. So I could, for example, say uh, I can only upload if I'm in Belgium. If I'm not in Belgium, I'm no longer uh, allowed to upload. So by combining this, uh, this context awareness on, uh, on different levels, Awingu tries to introduce the concepts of zero trust so that depending not only on the, on the user you're connecting with, but also on the context of that user that you can restrict or allow specific, uh, specific features, specific apps, specific drives to be used in 